Honey, how was saving the rain for us? Oh, it was fine, except it certainly would have been a lot easier without all that rain. <laughs> Cut. Wow, Jennifer, that was absolutely perfect. You are amazing. I don't know where you get all your talent. I hate to admit it, but your acting ability has surpassed even my own. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you all thank you. very much. Well, Jennifer, by the way, these came from your adoring public. And one of our sponsors has offered you a complimentary cruise as well. Oh, how sweet. The flowers in the dressing room, they're from all of us. Well, my public certainly does flatter me, but I could never take a vacation because there's so much acting to do. <laughs> <laughs> You're here. The girls have something to show you. Ready? One, two, three. And that's a cut on rehearsal. Wow, girls, that was absolutely perfect. I don't know where you learned to dance like that. It certainly shows you girls have been practicing. Thanks. We've been working really hard. <laughs> well, it certainly shows. I bet you guys could even perform in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. <laughs> what, do you think they couldn't? No, no, not at all. I, I think it's nice that they could be in the parade. I, I was just thinking of the offer I'm considering to be the Grand Marshal of the St. Patrick's Day Parade. You're the Grand Marshal, but you're not even Irish. She's certainly green with envy. Zing. That, that was a slip of the tongue. I meant to say the Veterans Day Parade. Wait, don't you have to be a veteran to be Grand Marshal of the Veterans Day Parade? Maybe not, but she sure is red, white, and blue with envy. Ew, snap. That didn't even make sense. But it doesn't mean that it's not true. Burn! <laughs> Listen, I'm not any color with envy, and I'll be the Grand Marshal of something. I'll show you. I'll show you all. Especially Anne. Me? I didn't even say anything. But you were thinking it. And the lead actress has stormed off again. Break time? Break time. I love working with Jennifer. <laughs> My Brady sense is kicking in. Somebody isn't working. Short rehearsal, that's quite a break. Totally. Not so fast. Nobody's going anywhere, anytime. So close. Now, sit down. All right. Now, what's going on here? Well, Jennifer just left because we told her she couldn't be Grand Marshal of the Veterans Day Parade. Veterans Day? Hey, that reminds me. I'm a veteran. Y'all know that? I was in the Army. You were in the army, Mr. Lewis? Sure was, ma'am. I was a drill sergeant. Was a drill sergeant? <laughs> What's that, soldier? Uh, nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Uh, if we were in the army, I'd have you doing push-ups before you could say airborne. Yeah, that's what I like. Yelling at guys, making them do stuff. Sounds like you were pretty tough. Yeah, I was tough, all right, but nothing like the drill sergeant to train me. Sergeant Lester... Iron Fist Harrison. Boys, he made Genghis Khan look like Little Bo Peep. 
That's right. He was tough. By the way, that gives me an idea. Since we can't shoot with Jennifer, I'll get you people busy cleaning up around here. I mean, after all, we got to get the money's worth out of you. Wait, is that legal? Check your contract in that category. Other duties assigned. I don't think I like where this is going. Well, I'm going to call Lester Harrison. Oh, Lester, you give me some tips on how to get you people to work. What about the girls? Put them to work in the mines. Um, we don't have mines. And there are child labor laws. Details, details. Just keep them out of my way. Now, I gotta go make a phone call. Uh, before you go, Mr. Lewis, mind if I skip the drill? I have some real work to do here. Of course, Ed, you're the only one that does any work around here anyway. Ouch. Okay, now I gotta go make that phone call. I'll be back, and I'll have assignments for each one of you within the hour. You got it? <laughs> Perfect crime. No one saw me leave, thus no one knows where I am. Nobody in the world. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Dennis. Ah! What are you doing in my office? Working. I work in your office because it's the only one where there's never any work being done. Okay, fine. If you're gonna disrespect me in my own office, I'll just have to ask you to leave. You didn't see me! Oh, I get it. You're hiding from Brady to get out of chores. No, no, it's, it's not that at all. Okay, I'll leave. But when Brady asked me where I was, I'm going to tell him I was here in your office with you. No, no, Ann, no, 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 no. You know I didn't mean what I said. We're friends, right? Oh, how about some chocolate out of my chocolate drawer? Those are unwrapped. Yeah, I like them gooey. No, listen, really, Dennis, as much as I appreciate the offer, I really have a lot of work to do. Okay, well, hey, <laughs> what you working on? Maybe I can help. I'm researching the Mecklenburg Veteran Services Office for a future episode. Which means? Which means services the Veteran Services Office provides. You know, like what they can do to help homeless veterans. Oh, uh, and this would be? Uh, for instance, did you know that veterans can get disability compensation because of injuries or diseases that occurred while on active duty? Oh, so veterans can get money for injuries. Yeah, anywhere from uh, 112 to $2,393 a month, depending on the severity of the injury. Wow, that's precise. What's even more astounding is that there is over $5 billion unclaimed by veterans nationwide. Huh, so there's money out there that veterans don't take. I guess they don't know what's available or don't know how to access their benefits. Well, Anne, I've decided to graciously lend you my assistance. So I don't tell your dad where you are? Please. Okay. Okay, what can I do? Stay quiet. Okay, I could do that. But I'm really good at the- Quiet. But I recall- Dennis! Can I just have a piece of chocolate? No! I'm Marcia Jen. I work for Mecklenburg County Department of Social Services and it's been my joy the last five years to work with our caregiver support program. Well, caregivers can be anybody. They might be a spouse or a son or a daughter or a grandchild even, an aunt, uncle, a cousin, anybody who's taking care of their loved ones at home. The best advice that I would give to a caregiver is for them to take care of themselves. If they take care of themselves and put their needs on the front burner, they're going to be able to take care of their loved one longer. And one of the ways that they can do that is to come to events and to support groups and to gatherings. There's not a time when I've left a caregiver's home that I haven't felt humbled because they are doing such a good job. They keep their sense of humor, they have a strong faith in most cases, and they just keep on keeping on. And I wonder if I would be able to do as good a job as they do.
laughing at, soldier? Laughing at, pr practically crying. Yeah, well, people are known to be crying and laughing, too. Now, you drop and give me 20. Uh, uh, how about 10? 20 push-ups, idiot. Yes, sir. And I think I'll keep this. You, soldier, looking at something? No, sir. Not paying attention, huh? Yes, sir. No, sir. I mean... I will have no inattentiveness in my unit. Now, you drop and give me 30. This is getting really expensive. Do it, now. Well, let's see. Looking at my notes here. Push-ups, check, got that. Crush their spirit. Yeah, that's the next thing on the list. Speaking of list, over there, you will find a list, each one with your name on it. I want you to read it. I want you to comprehend it. Do what it says to do. Is that perfectly clear? Sir! sir. Yes, yes sir. sir! Then do it, now. Ah, I've forgotten how much I enjoyed this. Rhonda, I can't believe we reduced to this work. I'm an actor. The power to evoke emotion won't help me sanitize. Yeah, I've never heard of scrubbing the walls of a hallway. Brady the drill sergeant. Well, that explains a lot. Well, he's not the only veteran around here. Oh, really? As a matter of fact, I used to sing at the USO. Wow. Does that make you a veteran? No, wait. I'm channeling Jade now. Yes, she used to sing at the USO. Not me. <laughs> well, either way, both of you have a better chance than Jennifer of being Grand Marshal. Maybe, but I still don't see her giving up. You don't need to be a psychic to figure that out. Wait a minute. I'm channeling Mr. Clean. Ooh, ha! Scrubbing bubbles, woohoo! Scrubbing bubbles! Hello, I'm back. Where is everyone? Hello? Doesn't anyone care that I'm back? I do, I do. I, uh, I care that you're back. That would be me. Oh, Rick, thank goodness. I just got back and there was no one to greet me. What? Why, I, Jennifer, I mean, personally, I am so glad that you're back. Oh, thank you. Uh, wait, why, why are you back? Uh, did you already become a uh, Grand Marshal? Uh, no. I tried that and it was boring. So I went shopping. And look, I found these fabulous earrings and they were 2% off. Uh, wow, those, those uh, lobes are uh, rocking. <laughs> so where is everyone anyway? Uh, well, after you left, Brady called up one of his old army buddies for advice on how to boss us around. What a general pain. General Payne? Brady knows a general? Uh, no, what I mean is um, a general nuisance and a general pest. Oh, a three-star general? I'm feeling flushed. I'm sure that he could appoint me the Grand Marshal of the Veterans Day Parade. No, I don't think you understand. It's generally, I mean, like, uh, just, no, just stay away from Brady. Ah, good point, because if I avoid Brady, then that gives me more time to take a quick little peek at his Dress book. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Oh, you are a genius. I would say a genius. <laughs> Maybe handsome and a little. Uh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I. Oh, this probably isn't going to end up too well. Um. Come on, vacuum. Don't quit on me now. We had a deal. Drag? Oh! Whoa. <laughs> oh, it's just you. What do you need? Brady sent me to give you this. He said you can't use the vacuum because of the electric bill. I wouldn't have to be doing any of this if Jennifer hadn't run off and become Grand Marshal. <laughs> you know, I'd make a better Grand Marshal than she would. Wait, are you a veteran too? Sure am. I served in Operation Desert Storm. Wow. You know, I guess you could be in the parade. Though you would need some sort of a motif, though. You know, a theme or something. Yeah. A motif, you say? Yeah, I did say. Just now. A motif. A motif. <laughs> Drac, are you okay? You know, I can see it all now. A float, just for me, and cheers from the crowd. Flowers on it and have from the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. We 
Dancers and people. Just Drac! Oh, oh. Drac, what are you doing lying around? I was uh, just catching the dust on myself before it fell onto the couch. Yeah. See, I'm thinking ahead. Think about this. That'll be your break time. Mm. What is this thing? Don't ahead. Oh. Oh. oh! Whoa, 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 Mr. Lewis, are you Ooh. okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Just, just sit down, sit down, sit down. Threw it out in service. I guess it was all that yelling? No dunderhead, I was on active duty. And you had this condition ever since? Yeah, I have to go to the chiropractor about once a month ever since. Whew, that's terrible. Yeah, the bill, that's a real killer. Reason I have to keep you people working. No TV station, no money to pay the bills. Wait. You never got help from veteran services? Help from who? Veteran services. They help veterans all over Mecklenburg County. Don't mess with me, Drac. I'm in pain here. Come on. Let's pull up the veteran services website in your office. All right. All right. All right. Careful, yeah. careful. Don't careful. mess with Come my suit. Man. I'm not going to mess with yeah, you. I'm just messing up. I'm not all the time messing with you. Come on, man. My name's Meredith Moore and I work for Mecklenburg County's Water Quality Program. I'm a senior environmental specialist for that program. We combine high-tech methods and good old-fashioned investigation skills to try to find and eliminate pollution sources to the surface waters in Mecklenburg County. I think the most common misperception is that the, most of the pollution comes from big industrial facilities that are dumping 50-gallon barrels in the middle of the night into the rivers and streams. It's really not like that anymore. It might have been in the past before the Clean Water Act, but now that industries are aware of the fines they could encounter, they're really pretty good citizens now. The most of the pollution comes from the average citizen who's just not aware of water quality regulations. You know, if I can find a sanitary sewer overflow and have it fixed, if I can find someone who's dumping something into the water they shouldn't be doing, if I can educate the public a little bit better, it's going to make the water a little cleaner and a little safer for everyone. And be it downstream drinking water supplies or my daughter playing in the backyard. You know, it's, if I can make that water a little cleaner and a little safer, then I've done a good job. unlocked itself oh, and opened all by itself oh and these papers are moving by themselves okay where's this address book oh come on where is this address book Here, here, you just, you just rest over here. I'll take that for you, I got it. Got it, just over here, right. And I will um, pull up the Veteran Services website. Hey, thanks, Dre. <laughs> Jennifer, what on earth are you doing down there? And where have you been? Shh, don't let Brady know that I'm here. <laughs> Drac, you talking to your pants? It's the crease. I find that if I talk to it, it stays straight. I know you're lying, but I'm in, I'm in too much pain to care. The web page is downloading. How convenient. Uh, well, this is what I was talking about. Disability compensation. It can get you money for diseases or injuries that occur while you're on active duty. You mean veterans can get money for injuries? Yes, and there's lots more, too. They have the Veterans Education Assistance Program. Veterans can get $2 for every dollar they put towards their education. Veterans can also get education for their family, too. Keep going. And it says here that the Veterans Services offices get veterans who are homeless, health care, rehabilitation services, and counseling. <laughs> Track, what are you waving for? Bugs? I saw a bug. Hey, um, let's look at the computer, shall we? Um, what are you and, doing, right? Oh, I'm just bringing the monitor closer so you can get a better look and read it easier. Look, <laughs> my back went out. I didn't go blind. Now get that out of my face. Sorry, Mr. Lewis. Yeah, perhaps you just should leave. I think you need to rest more than I do. 
Yes. You're right. Absolutely right. See ya. Yes. Yes, that helps a lot. Thank you, Mr. Weeks. Bye. So, what'd the Veteran Service Office say? He said that with all the military activity going on now, there's got to be a growth in the number of veterans in Mecklenburg County. So they'll have more people who need help? Well, not just more, but with different needs. There are more women veterans now, and unfortunately, more veterans with physical and mental disabilities. So the county's Veteran Service Office will need to be prepared to help in different ways than before. Oh, no doubt. Well, that's a good reason for this to be an episode of the Mecklenburgers. I think so. See? We make a good team. Team? What did you do? What did I... <laughs> well, I'll have you know I used your paint program to make Brady look like a bunny wabbit. Good job, I guess. <laughs> Waskly wabbit. <laughs> Hi, Ann. I'm here to clean the dentist. Clean the dentist? What? Did Brady tell you that I can't bathe myself? Because I'll have you know, I've been bathing myself for a good 15, 10 years. Where have you been? Brady is driving us insane. Everyone's been looking for you. That doesn't sound like my problem. Not your problem. Huh. Well, you're the station manager. I'm sorry. Is somebody talking? I'm not listening. Ah, la 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 la. Somebody talking. Ann, help me out. Ah, la, 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 I la, got la, a la. rope. Oh. What, what did you... <laughs> Wait a minute. What? I don't... Let's talk. Rick, why are you dressed like a dog? Well, one of Miss McGillicuddy's Rugrats actors called in sick, so I got the rotten job of replacing him. You know, I mean, why does this always happen to me? Just remember, Rick, there are no small roles, only small puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I trying to kid? It's hard to take you seriously when you're so fuzzy. Okay, fine. You know, laugh all you want, but once I was respected. I was in a mash unit. Wait, hmm? you were a military doctor? Well, no, I wasn't a doctor. I was, I was the company clerk. And I worked for some of the oddest characters, I mean, imaginable. They were crazy. Oh, yeah? Like who? Well, like our um, chief of surgery, Eagle Eye Pierce, they called him. <laughs> I mean, he was weird. Weird, weird. I mean, in the beginning, he was, like, fun, and he was witty, and then toward the end, he just, I don't know, he got too preachy for his own good, you know? A <laughs> potential malady for all of us, I suppose. Um, oh, right, right. <laughs> Anyways, there's this one guy in the unit who hated the army so much that he, he dressed up as a woman just so he could get discharged. <laughs> I'm glad I never had to work with such fun. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> You're on in five, Professor Wigglebottom. <laughs> Let me go! Ow, that hurt! This is inhumane! No, I won't go! Hi, Dad. How's it going? How many times in your life do I have to see you tied up in a chair? Thirty-seven. All right, what is it this time? Whew. Okay, here goes. <clears throat> Apparently, the cast and crew is angry at you for making them do the cleaning chores, and they sent me to stop you. Okay with me. Uh, what? O okay with you? Of course. The shape I'm in, certainly I don't feel like bossing anyone anywhere. I'm spent, boy. Wow, that was easier than I thought. You know, I really learned something today. Okay, what is it? Sometimes the thing that you hide from the most really just needs to be confronted. <laughs> you know, because it's not as bad as you think. Blah, blah, blah. Now you're giving me a headache. Well, I love you too, Dad. I'd give you a hug, but I'm tied to a chair. Thank goodness. <sighs> Jennifer, that's my address book. What are you doing with that? I called every single person in that book, and no one is a general. Now I will never become the Grand Marshal of the Veterans Day Parade. Well, actually, I've been asked to be the Grand Marshal in the parade. Would you like to accompany me? <gasps> really? You mean, like, sitting in the back of the convertible, waving like this? Ah, oh, you're a natural, my dear. Well, thank you, Brady. And you were forgiven for not having any friends who are generals. How about any friends in general? <laughs> I've got to go call my publicist about being in the parade. Okay. Oh, Dennis, you know, that really is a good look for you. Oh. <clears throat> I demand a raise. Dennis? Hi, 
this works. Talk about throwing somebody a bone. <laughs> Do you need an invitation to leave? Well, I'm kind of tied up here, Dad. Can't move. Somehow, that makes me feel better. Yes, sir. That's better. Yeah. See? I can walk now. Well, now, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, Dad. Where are you going? I'm going to the county veteran service office. No, hey, what? Dad, don't leave me here. Dad, wait. Dad, Dad. Hello, I'm Robert Rayford. You don't really have to be a veteran to be the Grand Marshal of the Veterans Day Parade, but that was a requirement. We'd have more than 56,000 veterans in Mecklenburg County from which to choose. That's the estimated number of veterans who live here, and that number grows every day. In recognition of veteran service to their community and country, the Mecklenburg Board of County Commissioners funds the Mecklenburg Veteran Service Office. This office provides direct assistance to military veterans or their surviving spouse in accessing benefits provided by the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Benefits include compensation, education, home loans, medical care, pensions, VA insurance, and more. Last year, the Veterans Service Office filed more than 3,500 claims on behalf of Mecklenburg veterans, resulting in $7 million in direct compensation to local veterans. To contact the Veterans Service Office in Mecklenburg County, call 704-336-2102 or go online at www.mecklenburgcountync.gov. Women, Mecklenburg.